All right. So this video is basically to talk about iRacing setup uh, using NVIDIA surround if you have a NVIDIA video card, as well as how to change your sound options. Uh, this is actually for a customer, uh, and it's just easier for me to show them. So with that said, let me There's my, now you're seeing all my cool stuff on my desktop. Okay. So first thing, volume or sound settings. Go over here to the headphones or go over here to the volume icon and right click. Then you want to go select your playback devices and whatever you have. I have a whole bunch here, but you will probably have just one or two things. You know, if you're gonna use a headset or you're gonna use the uh, computer speakers if you got it in the back. Yours might not say computer speakers because I renamed it, but it'll be something. Uh, it'll be it'll be one of your one of your sound cards or your headphones. But what you'll do is you'll right click on it, and you'll set that as your default device. Okay. If you want to make sure that's the that if you have several of them here and you're not quite sure if that's the right one, just hit test, and you'll hear whatever it's coming out of. Okay, right now, mine is the computer speaker. So I can set that as default, and I was testing it. So that's how you'll pick that. You'll you'll pick uh, that's how you can get volume out of your uh, computer. <clears throat> okay, and whatever that is, you also want to set up in your eye racing. Okay, so that's how to do that. Again, we'll go over it real quick again. Right click on the volume here, playback devices, and then you choose whatever. Uh, sound card you have like see I have several monitors so I could pick the sound speakers in whatever monitor I want to pick it in or whatever you may have considerably less uh, most of you guys will have something that reads real tech high definition audio which is uh, basically your your onboard sound card on your computer system right click it you can test it just to make sure that's the one and then to set set as a communication device okay so okay so we've got that off of now I got it trailing on purpose uh, because of the program I use but yeah all right <clears throat> so with that said you have an Nvidia card so right click anywhere in the middle of the screen and go to Nvidia control panel okay here will be a list of the monitors that you have set up. I have, uh, since I just sold my three monitors, I only have two monitors left, and but I do have my VR desktop. But your three will be there, okay? And it'll be positioned down here as well. Um, if you're gonna be doing eye racing and you want it uh, in a surround sound, or a certain surround sound, surround setup, then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have all three of your screens uh, they call it surround. I'm saying surround spanning option. So what you'll do is you'll click on that, <clears throat> and then you'll say span displays with surround, uh, just like that. And then you come over here and you click apply. I'm not going to do that, but you'll click apply because I don't have mine in surround. I'll use VR, so I don't worry about it. Okay, now. Uh, setting up multiple displays. No, you want to apply these changes now. No, okay. Now you have your three monitors set up, uh, but the order that it's in here is not necessarily the order that it is on your desk. So how you figure that out is you'll uh, right click and then click identify. Okay. So I right clicked on the first one. I obviously have this set up properly now, so that's why that one comes up. Okay. Now let's say you right clicked on this one, you clicked identify, the one came up, but it came up over here, right? What you would do is you would just move it like that. That's it, it's as easy as that. And then uh, that monitor will be in the proper spot. Kind of, kind of see how that works? Now, you're gonna want one of your monitors to be your main monitor, so if you're, you know doing something that's not in surround well basically you're gonna want your main monitor to be whatever is directly in front of you okay so you'll right click and uh, make primary and let's see I'll make this one primary over here so you can see so right click on the monitor and then make it primary and now that one will be primary 
See how it switched and asterisk came over there? I don't want to do that, but you know, you get what I mean. You'll make your primary. Make your middle one primary, whatever one you want to be your main. So that's how you do surround setup. All of your monitors should show up here, and then it'll give you a graphical representation on where they're uh, located. Okay? And again, to do mix surround, you just do go down here where it says surround spanning options. Surround spanning options. <clears throat> and then you will see span displayed with surround. You configure. I'm sorry. Well, no, nah, you don't need to do it like that. Just uh, just click on span display with surround and then go down here to apply. Okay. Once you do that, once you do that, they'll be in surround mode. And then all you need to do is uh, go to change resolution. <clears throat> right. And instead of having three monitors up here, it's just going to show one big monitor. Okay. It's going to show one big monitor. And then at that point, what you'll do is you'll come here and it'll give you the resolution of all of them together, which is like 5780 times whatever. You'll click on that and then click apply down here. So that's how you'll change that to surround. Okay. Now, after you're done with that, now you can go into iRacing uh, to set up your triple screens. And how you'll do that is obviously you'll load up um, iRacing. Over here, ah, you guys want to get my passcode? I know. <clears throat> oh, looks like I was promoted to Class B Dirt Oval Racing. Look at that! Everyone gets to hear my glee in getting promoted. Okay, who cares about that? All right. So, what you're gonna want to do, uh, especially in the case if you get a new computer, you've never used your graphics card at all. You, now you have your stuff set in surround. So what you'll do is you'll go settings and then right here it says run graphics configurator. Go ahead and click launch just to, to run the graphics configurator. You're going to get a bunch of different options. Uh, as you can see there, just click auto configure because it doesn't matter what they put. You're going to go, you're going to go change all that. I'm not going to actually do it. Uh, but. Close that window. Close the window. I'm not gonna auto configure it after I just did all. All my stuff is uh. Let me see. I racing simulator in that task because I have all my stuff set for my VR and I don't want to try to remember it. So going back. Okay, so settings. You're gonna go launch run graphic configurator. Just put automatic. It doesn't really matter what it what it does because you're going to go into it and change it anyway. Okay, so then you're going to go into a session. It doesn't really matter what you go into. Test car on track. <clears throat> of course, on mine, it's going to say it's detected my Oculus Rift, my VR headset. I don't want to go into the Rift <clears throat> because I need to show you how to uh, do the graphics. <clears throat> Let her boot in. All right. Of course, it's going to say configure controls right now because I don't really race this car. Never mind the FPS being tricked out to a thousand over there. In case you're running, uh, wondering, I have an 8700K at 5.3 gigahertz, but that's not why we're here. We're going to click options. Thanks to Wizard. Yes. Okay. So go into graphics. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're gonna have all this, you know. You're gonna be able to put it on whatever you have, depending on your uh, on your graphics card and your computer capability. But uh, what you're gonna want to look up here for your um, for your for your triple screens, if you have triple screens. Okay. First thing you do here is you're gonna click here and you're gonna pick your resolution. Your resolution is going to be what we talked about earlier. It's gonna be like 5,700 times whatever it is. I forgot the exact number of it, but uh, that's what you'll click. Uh, you I zoom, you'll leave. Here for multi-GPU support, you only have one graphics card. Number of screens, you'll click three, like that, okay? That way it uses all three, and you have your resolution at 57 times whatever. You're going to want to click multi-projection and SMP, okay? Now you're going to go over here. 
uh, your monitor width, including bezel. Uh, so whatever your bezel size is, like say you have a quarter inch over here, okay? And of course, you're going to have a quarter inch on the other one, so you'll say your monitor width, um, including bezel, is if you have a 20... Well, in your case, you have a 23.6 inch monitor, so here you'll just put 24 inches. So you just write 24. Uh, visible width excluding uh, bezel, you'll put 23.75. Remember, we're just guesstimating. It's about a quarter of an inch, whatever it is. Now your viewing distance. How far are you from your center screen? Uh, probably with 24 inches, you may maybe you'll be 15 inches to 19, whatever, however many inches you are. Okay. Then once you hit that, it's going to auto populate this. Oh no, no, it won't. You're gonna have to tell what your uh, your angle is going to be uh, on your side monitors, which you can you know whether it's 40 degrees, 45, just you know just whatever it is. Okay, and then it'll automatically do that one. So once you're done there, you click done. Of course, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to load those settings up. Okay. Uh, if you are locked at 84, it's because you have this button right here clicked. Go up here to frame right where it says no limit and click no limit. Okay. If you have a 60 megahertz uh, monitor, just uh, click no limit. Uh, if you have a 144 megahertz monitor and it's G-Sync enabled, then put it at 143. If uh, you don't have any G-Sync or whatever, just just leave it at no limit. You don't want to uh, you don't want to lock that down. So let me uh, get all this out just to make sure it doesn't all populate. So that's how you do triple screens. Um, that's pretty much it. Put all that stuff back. So that's pretty much it. Um, that covers. How to uh, get your sound card working on the proper sound card again down here right click play back find out whatever one's yours right click and set as default device and you're good to go uh, rehashing the Nvidia surround Nvidia control panel uh, set up multiple displays put them in the order that they are remember you right click identify to find out which one is uh, which one is which And then, of course, uh, depending on what it is, you move you move them around here to uh, whatever you need. Move them around. Then you come here, change resolution. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go back to. Uh, just I'm just rehashing how you do it. Set up multiple displays. So your surround option. You click here, and then that span display with surround. Then you go here, change resolution. You'll, this will all show as one huge monitor. And then just go down here and click on 57 times whatever. I don't know the exact number. So, but yeah, that's how you do it. And then what I showed you in iRacing. So if anyone has any question, you can leave some comments down below, and I'll try to answer your uh, answer any questions you have. Uh, but this was more for uh, uh, someone I just uh, sold a PC to. He had a couple questions, and I figured this would just be a lot easier. So anyway. Uh, take it easy and wish you luck racing.